Hello there, deep sea detectives. Are you ready to dive into the world of the weird, the wonderful, and the downright wacky? I'm your guide, Morale, and today we're plunging into the abyss to meet some of the most bizarre creatures that call the deep sea their home. From spiders the size of dinner plates to fish that could give Dracula a run for his money, the ocean's depths are teeming with life that's stranger than fiction. So buckle up. It's time to take a plunge into the deep unknown. First up on our list of deep sea oddities, we have the sea spider. Picture a spider as big as a dinner plate with legs longer than your arm. But don't fret, these critters prefer munching on tiny shrimp miles down in the deep blue, not snacking on human ankles. Next, meet the fang tooth, a fish with needle-like teeth, bulging eyes, and a glowing lure hanging from its chin, giving off serious Nightmare on Fins vibes. But don't worry, they won't bite humans. They're more into flashing their terrifying grins at smaller fish. Now, let's dive deeper to encounter the frilled shark, a prehistoric relic that looks like a living eel with rows of razor-sharp backward-facing teeth. It's essentially the deep sea's very own Dracula, minus the cape and thirst for blood, we hope. Then there's the goblin shark, an unfortunate-looking fellow who resides where sunlight doesn't dare to reach. He might look like he just lost a poker game to a sea monster, but this guy is actually quite shy. Unless you're a squid. And let's not forget about the blob sculpin, a gelatinous grump with a face like it just lost its last fish cookie. It may have won the ugliest animal alive contest, but at least it knows how to camouflage with the murky bottom. Next in line is the bloody belly comb jelly. This translucent creature shimmers with a mesmerizing red glow, not to attract mates, but to confuse predators. It's basically a deep-sea disco ball with a total lack of rhythm. Moving on to Sloane's Viperfish, a fish that seems to have escaped from a sci-fi movie. Its belly is lined with bioluminescent organs like flashing neon lights, scaring away anyone without sunglasses. Then we have the Gulper Eel, an eel with a mouth that stretches like a bottomless pit, engulfing prey several times its size in one gulp. It's essentially a vacuum cleaner with teeth and a bad attitude. Next. Meet the Dumbo Octopus, nicknamed for its large ears that help it glide through the water. This flying elephant of the deep may be cute, but don't let its floppy ears fool you. It's a master of camouflage and stealth. And finally, we have the Swimming Sea Cucumber. This small, gelatinous creature has a unique way of reducing excess weight before swimming. It simply poops. It may look like a headless chicken monster with bad manners, but this poop-powered escape artist deserves some respect. And that, my friends, wraps up our tour of the deep sea's most bizarre residents. From spiders the size of dinner plates to jellyfish that could moonlight as disco balls, life underwater is anything but ordinary. Woo, what a whirlwind tour that was. Let's take a quick breath and recap what we've learned. From the dinner plate-sized sea spider to the light show Sloan's Viperfish, we've met a wild cast of creatures. We've encountered the fanged fang tooth, the prehistoric frilled shark, and the grumpy blob sculpin. We've laughed at the goblin shark's poker face, marveled at the bloody belly comb jelly's glow, and held our breath for the gulper eel's big gulp. Thank you for joining us on this deep sea adventure. Remember, the next time you're feeling a little strange, just be glad you're not a blob sculpin. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.